I don't know if I want a car covered in cameras to have a biometric facial scanner on the dashboard. For me, that's a little much. You guys can decide how you feel about that. Put your thoughts in the comments below. So this is the touring model. Touring model. So uh, 2024 Lucid 2024 Air touring. Lucid Air touring. And that was, I think, That's 800 and something horsepower. 800 something horsepower. 800 and something. Um, and four wheel drive? All wheel drive, okay. dual motors. Um, gets about 406 miles range. Okay, and how long does it take to charge? It gets zero to 200 in about 15 minutes. Wow, zero that's the fastest minutes. so far. Yeah. 300 in about 25 minutes. 300 in about 25 minutes, that's, mm -hmm. that's, yep. that's the winner. Uh, yep, we manufacture our own battery. It's all US based, make another right. Interesting, we're making those batteries. <laughs> Not <science>. your job. <laughs> <laughs> make a right here. <laughs> that's fair. Um, is there any suspension modes here, like raise it up a couple inches or down? The Swift, I believe, will drop it down just a couple inches, and then the Sprint drops it down a little bit further. Um, Swift would be more of a race car feel, probably feel in your S2000. Um, Sprint's more of a take off. Yeah, Plus. one thing you'll find with this, from the exterior, you wouldn't expect so much interior space. Um, even like in the back seat, trunk space, uh, front space. The back seat looks really big, actually. It, it does. And then You're going straight here. Yes, you can just go straight down. I like the steering wheel, nice and thick. Mm -hmm. It's not like a dainty Feels little nice. thing. Yeah. If you want to swap it over to Swift, we can try that. Or if you want to try it once we do. Well, let me get back to the swing real fast. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, does electric. it change the power at all? Uh, yes, yes. Going to Swift will increase the power a little bit, and then okay. Sprint, of course, will increase it even more. Max, all right, we'll try Swift. It bit. stays pretty quiet with the windows up. Um, oh, yeah, the uh, standard regen is very... Very gentle. You still have to use the brakes with that. Yep. But if you go into high, it really stops it or really slows it down. Mm -hmm. It'll bring it to a stop. If you want to try that, we'll just hold that down. Oh, go into okay. high. Uh, I'll try it in like five minutes, maybe. Yep. It's interesting. This has the loudest sort of Jetsons noise of all the cars. It's kind of like lets you know you're moving in a way. That's kind of nice. I almost appreciate that. The other ones are so silent on the inside. Yeah, like you could sort of get caught off guard if you let your, you know, took your foot off the gas at a stoplight or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I was talking to a customer recently and he was saying that he didn't like the BMW Sprint mode or whatever mode that they have. And it's like, you're going to make a right on Beverly Glen. Um, because when you switch it over, it turns on engine noise, which makes it sound like a traditional gas powered or gas oh. car, um, but it's fake. Completely made out of gas. Yeah. BMW trying to make, trying to bridge the gap a little bit. Yeah. There's kind of a weird feeling in the brake pedal. There's like nothing in the first inch. Little road here. Yep. I mean, that's why I wanted to go to the beach, because I just wanted to get out of town, you know? This is such a terrible spot for a test drive, but it yeah. is what it is. All right, let's try the high regen. Yep, they call it one pedal driving. Of course, I would recommend still using the brakes <laughs> here and there, but... On the way back, we can push a little bit on Santa Monica. Um, there's no, we're like right in, there's no highways near there, are there? Not really. If, if you wanted something larger, we do have an SUV coming up pretty soon. I um, saw it on your uh, iPads in there. Yeah, it, we're expecting it towards the beginning of next year. Um, I mean, the problem is that SUVs not like, I can't fit my motorcycle on an SUV, so. <laughs> I've done okay. it before, but. It well, was there's ways. A very like, old SUV and 
Yeah, that's what I mean. They're, they're too nice. Like, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to. How much are these? This is like eighty. This one 70, starts 80? at around eighty. Yeah. Okay. Um, because of the bigger motor and bigger batteries, presumably. So the pure is our base. That one's around seventy. Uh, this one's the touring, which is the next one up. It's dual motors. Yeah. Uh, all wheel drive. The other one's rear wheel. Um, this one actually has less range than the base. Hmm. Because of the dual motors. Did they have to take batteries out? Not that they took batteries out, just weighs a little bit more. So it's 420 oh. versus 406. Not a huge All difference. Alright, so only 15 miles, but what? how much do these weigh? Um, huh, I don't know the exact weight. Alright, I'll look that uh, up when we get back. But as far as this one, probably gets a little bit less mileage range because of the glass canopy, which weighs more. Mm. Um, what is it normally? Aluminum. Okay. Uh, and then they, depending on which one you want, it can affect the range. So we'll just go right here. Um, I could swap it over to spring here if you wanted. Um, Man, it's not even worth it. Like, that's all, I, you know, yeah. that's all we got. The, uh, uh, but yeah, the wheels weigh it down also. This one has the 19 inch, which is probably the smallest. Smallest wheels? Yep. Um, Gosh, that hit is like <laughs> just that whiplash. <laughs> Sorry for no, 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 should have given you a warning <laughs> there. That was my fault. You imagine your your high schooler, te like when a Model Three is a ten year old piece of shit, you know, and that's what we give to high schoolers as like their first car, a Model Three. Four hundred and fifty horsepower. That's what a V eight and a Corvette or a Mustang used to be, you know. Yep. And literally, it's like a soccer mom's vehicle now. This one does like zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, I believe. Oh, it's got to be faster than that. That Rivian is 3.2. or 3.8. The Grand Touring does uh, three seconds. That's got the 1,000 horsepower though, right? Uh, that one has the 800 something. Um, Sapphire is the performance, luxury, limited edition, special order. That one gets like 1,250-ish. That's a lot. Yeah, that one's the fastest production, uh, fastest production car out there. It's, uh, Guys, electric horsepower hits different. Yep. I mentioned in the Rivian video, it's unreal in town and totally falls off on the highway. But I'm in town right now and I got a big smile on my face. Although it's like, I never like to use the word too much, but could I get 200 more miles of range if I only had 500 horsepower instead of 800? You might not be the right guy to ask that. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's all right, <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, so the Grand Touring actually gets over 500 miles, um, the one that's 800 horsepower. Um, Is this just regular Touring? This is the regular Touring. There's okay. the Grand Touring, which has dual motors, but an extended battery. Mm. So, as far as appearance, the back seat, or yeah, the back seat will be about two or three inches higher. It's that's just it. up on top of the battery yeah. a little bit. Yep. Well, I gotta sneak them in wherever they can, you know. Uh, you said turn and left up here. We can, or if you want to push it a little bit, we can try that and then just make a U-turn up ahead somewhere. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. If you want to try it in sprint. Oh, what's that like? <laughs> Still warn you a little bit. How about now? <laughs> well, hello there. This is future Maslow in my home studio. If you were looking forward to seeing a 0-60 to 60 run right there, I do apologize. I promise you I was too. Unfortunately, my GoPro overheated. It wasn't an air-conditioned car. It was in the windshield, in direct sunlight. Whatever. GoPro has a real overheating problem. I hope they do something about it in the future. But we'll just ignore that for now and wrap this bad boy up. The Lucid Air was pretty fun to drive. It definitely looks unique, doesn't look like any other electric car. 
It had some really cool features that set it apart, like the user interface allowed you to slide apps between two different screens in the center console. And it felt like having a desktop with two screens on it. That was really cool. It also had some super weird features like a facial recognition scanner on the dashboard that it used to set driver profiles and ergonomics. I don't know if I want a car covered in cameras to have a biometric facial scanner on the dashboard. For me, that's a little much. You guys can decide how you feel about that and put your thoughts in the comments below. It's fast. It can be faster. It's got good range. It can have more range, I think. It charges fast and they make, uh, make the batteries in America, which I've certainly never heard another manufacturer advertise. If you're in the market for an electric car, it's certainly worth checking out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell, all the YouTube things. And stay tuned for more shenanigans. Well, f that might be it.